The final game of round two of the German Darts Masters live from the Ballhouse Forum in Munich, Germany. And it sees Germany's last remaining hope in the tournament, René Idems. Renew hostilities with the world number one, Michael Van Gerwen. The man who, well, he wasn't that far away from knocking out of the world championship. It nearly happened. People were saying it couldn't. The bookmakers were offering ridiculous odds. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds to one against he was when he Mania was two sets down. effectively, yeah. Really was. An astonishing performance by René Adams. He suspects he hasn't got it in him again to push Van Gerwen all the way in a best of 11 format. But stranger things have happened. Well, look, he lost the first six legs to Michael Van Gerwen at the World Championship before he came back at him. He can't afford to do that tonight. Won the fourth set 3-0, though. He did. It was just... First leg, Michael. So out of the first. water. Game on. Uh, that 1-2-2 checkout was the turning point, wasn't it, for Idams in that match? She was against the throw. It proved to be the start of an incredible fight back. 96. Like I say, went on to win the fourth set 3-0. Then Mr. Dart at tops as well for a break of throw in the first leg of the fifth set. And then at two legs all in the side of Van Gogh and, you know, looks in genuine danger, but just held his nerve. Helped by a, a visit of 80, uh, sorry, 44 from Idams in the opening 60. salvo. Oh, look, that is, that is history, that is done. It's all about tonight and the German Darts Masters and can René Idems claim the biggest win of his career? Oh, in knocking out a man who has been throwing the greatest darts ever witnessed by man <laughs> in the last few weeks. World oh, record oh, averages oh, repeatedly oh. hitting averages in the 110s. As he did here. In the semi-finals last year, the highest average in the history of this tournament. 113.6 against Peter Wright in the semi-final. Backed by his wife. Hello, hello Rene. Hello, Ooh. hello. Oh, Rene. The sole surviving German gives the crowd reason to believe. Against the Van Gerwen throw. Now the then. The Motown shot. Four tops. Oh, he'll go 12 double 16. And why and not for a break of throw? Rene Idems into the lead. Raising the Second roof here Rene in the ballhouse for him. Game on. Is it the start of a ballroom blitz for Michael Van Gerwen? By the sole surviving German, the cube. 81. By no means a one-dimensional player. Van Gogh. I'm not you sure. You will fight it. Well, yeah, I'm sure Van Gogh will respond, but I'm not sure there is anybody left in the tournament, or anybody in the tournament coming into today's action, who would get a better reception, would have the crowd singing for him, more than... This man. More than this man. No. Michael Van Gerwen would be expecting his name to be chanted all around the ballhouse for him tonight, whoever he was playing, apart from if he was taking on the one remaining German. He has got very used, Michael Van Gerwen, over the last two or three years, to having the majority of support. There are very few players in World Dance who get the support that Michael Van Gerwen gets. Even Phil Taylor, mm. it struggles sometimes. Gary Anderson obviously gets vociferous support, some places more than others. And but Peter Wright here as well, and Peter Wright, is yeah. massively popular. Whitlock is another one in Germany, but it's not very often that Michael Van Gogh in fans are outsung nowadays. 57. That's the 57, and he's left himself 163, which is no good to him. And there might have been a little smirk from Michael Van Gerwen, but that's been wiped off his face by the 48 that he's just hit. That did find the treble three. George Noble just had a careful look at it. That's found the treble bed, I think. Yes, it has. 97. Well, Adam's in good shape here for a 2-0 lead. Van Gerwen won't finish it. Here and now. Now then. not got going, has he, Van Gerwen? Check the decibel levels if this comes off. That's found the treble nine. Well, that's not what you wanted, Rene. 39 remaining. 7 double 16, surely. Yep. Mm. 34. Oh, oh, I can't 
chance for to pass those opportunities up. Well, that was way off. But that wasn't, and almost as sure as night follows day, Michael Van Gerwen responds straight away, breaks back, levels things up, one apiece. Yeah, and how many opportunities can you pass up like that? If you're going to beat the world number one, pretty much everything has to go right for you. This is a great response, superb stuff, really, I don't. We could be witnessing something very, very special here. 140. And I suspect there were many out there who might have had this down as a, a six zipper. Rod Hamilton, by the way. Nostradamus, as he's now known, has gone for a 6 1. Two. To uh, Adam, no, not Adam. Van Gogh. I jest. Well, MVG had to survive a dart for 2 0 down. That prediction nearly came to a shuddering halt at mm -hmm. the earliest available opportunity, but Michael Van Gerwen does look pretty good in this leg to go into the lead, although some scruffy darts from the world number one. Tidies that up very nicely to leave double 12. Van Gerwen took his tally of PDC events for 2016 to six by retaining the UK Open with that 11-4 win over Peter Wright in the final earlier this month. 130, Mark Watt, Won the Dutch Darts Masters in Venray earlier this month, or last month I should say as well. Ooh. Double six though here, proves elusive. Well, well, well. Rene Idems now, 63. What have you got, Rene? 18 for double 16. Mr. Dart in the last leg. Oh, doesn't miss it this time, and it's another break of throw, and the Munich crowd are loving this. Well, it's astonishing. He took out double 16 in the first leg that he won. He took it out just then, but he missed double 16 for a 2-0 lead. Could, Could so easily have been 3-0 up here. 44. Now, just the 44, maybe I'm a little bit excited. Anything but excitement 100. portrayed across Michael Van Gerwen's face right now. Well, I don't think Van Gerwen will be posting an average of 1, 2, 3.4 tonight, unless we see a dramatic upsurge in tempo. Wow. That is a maximum for MVG, and is this the start of... What you feel in every game with Michael Van Gogh, and there is going to be a charge at some point. You don't yeah. know when it's going to come, but you think it's going to come sometime soon, and then it's just a question of how long it lasts. 134. This yeah, it's down it. to a finish on the Adams throw. He could be on course for another break here. Any sporting duel between Germany and Holland needs very little in the way of Billy. And Van Gerwen does level up to a piece. Yeah, 11 data, great response from MVG, and he's back in the treble bed again. And we said it's only a matter of time before he goes on the charge, and then it's a question of how long it lasts. Probably four legs from well, here. It can be, can't it? <laughs> it really can be. He has this knack of throwing dart after dart exactly where it wants it to be, where he wants them to be. And 140. ton 80, ton 40. This is off the back of an 11 darter in the previous leg. And Rene Idems is now experiencing the full force of the world number one's power. And the thing about Van Gerwen, he doesn't just go on surges of winning legs, he goes on surges of winning tournaments as well. well yeah, I mean, is, November yeah. last year was just astonishing. Over the course of those uh, four weekends, winning the European Championship, the Grand Slam, the World Series Finals, and the Players' Championship Finals. It was all supposedly building up to the big one, but it wasn't to be at Ali Pali for Michael Van Gerwen. Like I say, he's made a terrific start to 2016 after the World Championship. Won the Masters as well. Three UK Open qualifiers. UK Open itself and Venray last month. The first uh, Players' Championship weekend, he didn't win either of them, did he? Beaten in the final by Stephen Bunting in the second one. Mm. Tom 40 for Rene Idens. Well, it keeps him interested for at least 
eight seconds more. Maybe longer. Well, Maybe longer. Van Gerwen on double 20. That's twice now he's been, you know, a good couple of inches below the wire. Yeah. And off target with double oh, 10. Rene. Could have done without that, Rene. Oh, what was a recovery. A great recovery. It's his favourite double 16 once again. Oh, and he's just in, well, more than just inside. 74. That's the chance, though. Unless Van Gerwen goes inside here, if he doesn't. And he's uh, silenced the crowd a bit there. But Steve another Rene, missed dart at double 16. That's the uh, story of the night for Rene Adams. That's where the match will be won or lost, his ability to take out double 59. 16. OK, he must not lose sight of the fact that he's still going on throw here, effectively. This is the thing, Michael Van Gerwen's got 112 first nine average and a 97 overall average, and pretty much anybody else throwing those kind of numbers, you'd go, hang on, this is a good display, this. But because it's Michael Van Gerwen, and because of his feats, particularly over the last six months, pretty much ever since he lost in the Grand Slam final to Robert Thorns, 98. you just judge him by different standards. Yeah. Hold him up to compare him to his absolute best, and his absolute best is mind-bogglingly good. 59. I've also got to say as well, it's little wonder Max Hopp couldn't deal with the cube in qualifying on Friday night. I mean, at first we were thinking, hang on a minute, 6-3 defeat at the hands of Rene Adams, but easy to see why Germany's number one struggled to cope with Rene Adams, who's peppering that treble 20 bed once again. I tell you what, you've got to admire his composure. He does not care at all. He doesn't seem to care at all that he's playing the world number one here. No. And that oh, is a maximum for Michael Van Gerwen. That's his third. I straight into the fives here twice. Maybe I spoke too soon. On that Maybe game. you did. And that's a four-leg surge that I talked about is beginning to take hold here. Double 18. 17. You, you suspect Van Gerwen will be back for a 4-2 lead. Unless. Unless. Oh, would have been too much to ask for. 100. Michael Lee requires 36. Well, he has been missing doubles, Michael Van Gerwen. But not the double 18 on this occasion, and it is a 4-2 lead. Seven flag Michael to throw first. Game on. Well, Adams also made the last 16 of a couple 81. of the UK Open qualifiers. In one of them, he beat Stephen Bunting in the last 32. And he also beat the former UK Open finalist Colin Osborne as well. So he, he has claimed one or two scalps here and there. 140. But I hope we see a lot more of him in the European Tour this year. Hopefully we'll see him in Hamburg. 42. Should he come through the host nation qualifier for that? in May. Yeah, and if he wants to be at Gibraltar, of course, it'll be the European qualifiers. He's got a lot of very dangerous Dutch 100. players in those. Tricky mm. ones to come through, but yeah. I think from what we've seen, he is capable. Capable. I think the German route is perhaps the easier route for him. Yeah, it certainly is. Oh, the host qualifiers. It's not quite the strength in depth that we've seen in the European qualifiers, but certainly not disgracing himself here. No. 100. Gets down to a finish as well on the Van Gerwen throw. Yeah, and with Gibraltar as well, you've got the, offensively the Germans, the Dutch, the likes of Roby John Rodriguez, all in the same melting pot, haven't you, really? Now, Nadella. 138. Adams in a great position to uh, break here, though. Oh. Maybe not. We'll get the chance. Oh, my word. Rene Adams, you've just been Van Gerwen. That is what he does. And he does it on an alarmingly regular basis. Stunning, stunning stuff from the world number one. 134. Oh, you see, 98 average. It's pedestrian by Van Gerwen's ridiculous standards. 
problem is everybody else in the field will be looking at it and going, oh, Van Gerwen's throwing a 98 average here. He's probably not going to throw another one of those for another mm -hmm. month. So if I am going to come up against him and I need to beat him, 77. I'm probably going to have to play my very best. I'm thinking that right now will be a Mr. Kevin Painter. Yeah. 85. He awaits in the last 16. Just the one some plus check out that uh, 138 from Van Gerwen, stylishly done. 140. Rene Iden's not giving up though, quite rightly. Gets down to a nice little two dart check out. 100. Uh, Van Gerwen's on Shanghai though. Now he can go a couple of ways with this, but he's gone the aggressive route. Needs to find a treble or he doesn't get a dart. A double oh. and it's spat out by the board. And that may be curtains. Van Gerwen pacing, shifting from foot to foot, the back of the stage. Steps up to the Oki. Treble 20. Needs the treble. Oh, he's gone ball, ball. And he hit 13. Wow. I mean, I'm sure he'll say, oh, I blocked me path to the treble 20. But I think there was a little of the showman in that. Mm. Rene Items, can he punish him? Double 10 to stay alive. <laughs> and he does stay alive. Deserve that. I think 6-2 would have been a bit harsh on items. Might even be 74. further life in Rene Items hit. That's not a brilliant start by Van Gerwen. If uh, items can punish it here with a ton 40 or something. 98. Now the trebles are eluding Michael Van Gerwen 100. momentarily. Well, let's just entertain the notion that Rene Items can get a break here. Then he'd only be one hold of throw away from taking it to a deciding game. Lots of room there, and he's found it as well. Now then. fifty-four. Great opportunity for Items here if he can press home this slender advantage. He's effectively won the darts over here. Big score here will make things very interesting indeed. 99. 99. Well, look, sensible. He has left himself on a finish now. Oh, that leaves the 1 3 2. And Van Gerwen very famously has taken this out to win matches in the past. Big ones at that. But it's Rene Items, what about this? Oh. What about this, Rene Items? Oh, oh my word! Desperate battle. That would have been one of the best moments of the European Tour. But look at this from Michael Van Gerwen. Shot. The flamboyance of a 1-3-2 checkout. Two bullseyes back to back and a double 16. Some might call it showboating. I call that simply brilliant darts from the world number one. But it brings to an end what was a truly extraordinary encounter. Rene Idens can hold his head high as he milks the applause of the German fans here. The sole surviving German is out. But he has made a very, very big impression and a lasting impression on the German masters here in Munich. Michael van Gerwen goes marching on into the last 16. He'll face Kevin Painter tomorrow. We'll be back tomorrow as well for the last 16 in the afternoon session and then the business end of the tournament. I had to check it, I'm really glad I did check it and uh, was enough, uh, enough to win this game and uh, I hope I can show even better tomorrow because I think I played a bit poor. Scheiße gespielt. Also, <laughs> ihr habt es verstanden, er ist sehr selbstkritisch, nicht ganz zufrieden mit seinem Spiel, er sagt, er hat wortwörtlich Scheiße gespielt. Um, hat schon bessere Averages gespielt, aber das Checkout am Ende natürlich mit Bull Bull Doppel 16 war sensationell. Er sagt, ja, ich musste es einfach ausmachen, ansonsten wäre René zurück im Spiel gewesen. Michael, you're, you're defending the title here of the German Darts Masters. You won here last year. How is it for you to, to return here to Munich? Yeah, for me, it's fantastic. I really like this venue. I like the hotel where we're staying in. And I like this venue, but unfortunately, I played someone from Germany tonight, so the crowd wasn't on my side. But I, I hope to have them back tomorrow. Also, er sagt, er, ihm gefällt es hier in München sehr gut, ihm gefällt äh, die Halle hier, ihm gefällt das Hotel direkt nebenan. 
wo wir übernachten. Jetzt heute hat er es ein bisschen schwer gehabt, weil er gegen einen Deutschen gespielt hat. Aber er hofft, dass er morgen, wenn es nicht gegen einen Deutschen geht, dass er euch wieder auf seiner Seite hat. Thank you very much, Michael. If you could please sign. Die Nummer 1, Michael van Gerwen. Michael, 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 Michael. Kurz seine Sonne. Also ein, ein würdiger Abschluss wird.